This woman who is leading the lion to find her prey is the warden of a women's prison. Every day she takes her pet to the prison. The female prisoners had to run for their lives to save their lives. But the warden doesn't want his pet to starve. So she knocked out an unfortunate female prisoner as bait for her pet. The girl is washed clean. Then quickly pushed out to make dinner for the lion. Because the death rate in this prison is really too high. So the warden couldn't help but think of a way. Provide a supply of fresh blood to the prison. For example, two men are sitting on this train. The two of them are the outer henchmen of the prison chief. They are targeting the girl who is on the train going to the city to visit her sister. So they took advantage of the girl's sleep. And secretly put a pack of drugs in that girl's bag. After going through so many difficulties to get to the train station, the two sisters still haven't had time to hug each other. The little sister was immediately arrested by the police. She was then prosecuted for illegal drug trafficking. And then, the unfortunate girl Carol was sentenced to 10 years in prison by the judge. Carol was just like that and was wronged and sent to prison. Not long after, along with dozens of other beautiful young girls, she was taken to this prison. The warden checks the quality of the new items. Finally, she showed a satisfied smile. The quality of this new group of prisoners is not bad, especially Carol has both body and beauty, it's a good choice. Right after that, they did the detention procedure for the new inmates. Just like other prisons, newbies are always bullied. When Carol was just putting her things on the bed, a big sister from the prison approached and asked her to be her junior. Seeing that Carol wouldn't give in, the big sister immediately took action. Fortunately, a female prisoner named Val spoke for Carol. That's why she avoided a fatal blow. The relationship between the two is also getting stronger. Gradually, Carol and Val became best friends. Early that morning, a guard suddenly opened the door and walked in. Take the stick and poke the female prisoners one by one to wake them up. After the prisoners regained consciousness, they quietly followed the guard out. Only Carol was not called out by the guards, but she got up very early. Facing the strange behavior of the warden, she quietly followed the guard without making a sound. As a result, seeing a horrifying scene right in front of her. The girl returned home in the night, but ended up being stalked by two bastards. She was so scared, she quickly walked away from this place. Unexpectedly, the other two guys soon got the key to her house. She was about to go upstairs when she was stopped by those two guys. It turns out that while on the train, Carol's sister was targeted by these two guys. In order to complete the mission, they followed Carol's sister closely. Just as these two were about to strike, a man appeared in the dark corner. He immediately fired two shots to send these two bastards to hell. Carol's sister was scared and kept screaming and struggling. Until the man who fired the gun said Carol's name. He gradually calmed down. He told her that his name was Backman. He knows that Carol was wrongfully imprisoned so he wants to think of a way to get her out but need to change another place to talk because this place is not safe. Because in order to save his sister, Sybil could only follow Backman and leave. After arriving at Backman's house, his face showed a sad expression and said to her, Victim is not only her sister. A few years ago, his family member was also wrongfully imprisoned by someone else. After entering the prison, she also disappeared without a trace. And in order to save his family, he always investigates this prison. He finally discovered the secret of this prison. It turns out that the prison chief always takes advantage of female prisoners. After being taken to prison, the girls were forced to act in adult movies. Even being forced to serve high-ranking officials. Then Backman took out a tape. And say the female leads in this video are all female prisoners. Hearing this, Sybil felt goosebumps. She worried her sister would suffer. So the next day she took the video and ran to the embassy to ask for help. But the ambassador tried to hide. He said this tape should not be taken as evidence. Please leave the video so I can learn more about it. Sybil was furious and immediately left. She was completely desperate for the embassy so she decided to ally with Backman. Two people bribed the company responsible for cleaning and transporting garbage in the prison. Then they followed the garbage truck to break into the prison. After entering the prison, the two kept looking around. But searching all afternoon did not find Carol's whereabouts. The last appointment time is almost over. The two of them have to get out of this prison first. Unexpectedly, when they got to the door, the guards had doubts about them. He said he wanted to check the car once. Backman was worried about Sybil being discovered. That's why he told the driver to step on the gas and drive away, so the guards couldn't react. Seeing someone causing trouble, the guards panicked. The two doormen continuously opened fire in the direction of the truck. Then call out to a colleague to chase after him. As soon as they heard that the guards were driving after their car. On a narrow country road, three police cars chased the truck. At the turn, both sides poked out of the window to play gun battles. However, they shot back and forth but didn't hit a single shot. What a waste of bullets. Out of nowhere, the warden can only accelerate to catch up with the truck. However, the quality of cars is only one third of that of trucks. On the contrary, the two police cars lost their balance and rushed straight into the forest. At the same time, the police were shouting loudly in the prison. The warden ordered the prisoners to come to the courtyard within three minutes. After counting the prisoners, the warden let out a sigh of relief. The female prisoners were all without a single one, so where did Carol end up? This story needs to be told that night. Carol secretly followed the other female prisoners. As a result, she discovered that the warden was using them to make forbidden goods. 
Seeing a large amount of white powder on the table, Carol turned around and left. But was threatened by the warden in the back with a knife. Carol assures that she will keep it a secret, the warden released her. The next day, Carol and Val were changing in the bathroom. Then suddenly the warden appeared and knocked down the female prisoner next to him. Then took out a bag of powder coated on the other female prisoner. Carol and Val unfortunately got involved in this too. They were locked in an underground cell by the guards. Locked in an underground cell, Val desperately tells Carol. The scariest place in this prison is this cell. Prisoners are locked in here, or become the toys of the officials. Or will be playing the female lead in an adult movie until death. Sure enough, not long after, they were arranged by the warden to a special casino. This place is full of beautiful female prisoners who are considered prostitutes. Everyone has to please high-ranking officials while gambling. They can freely take a female prisoner they like and do whatever they want. And Carol appeared here after wearing beautiful makeup. The warden led her to her room and started having fun. It was not until midnight that the warden fell into a deep sleep. This time, Carol took the keys to the prison and walked out. She changed into another outfit and broke into the underground cell. As soon as she entered the door, she discovered that Val had been tortured to death. Knowing that this place is not safe, Carol holds back her tears and runs out. It's not easy to get out of the casino, she turned around and met the ambassador. She hastily begged the ambassador to save her because she is being kidnapped. Didn't expect this elegant looking ambassador to hit her. Then tie her up and led her back to the casino. Because Carol committed the crime of escaping, the warden gave an order. Bring Carol to the pervert who tortured Val to death. And this pervert is the same judge who sent her to prison. At this point, Carol finally understood everything. No wonder the warden can be so arrogant. It turns out that high-ranking agencies are all her umbrellas. But Carol doesn't give in to fate so easily. Just as the judge was about to strike her, she pushed him into the nail in the wall. And then the judge got his head pierced and died on the spot. After Carol escaped from there, she persuaded the prisoners to escape together. They knocked out the guard and stole all the weapons. Successfully turned the prison into a battlefield with gunshots everywhere. Sybil and Backman also took action after hearing the noise inside the prison. They drove a tank straight into the prison's main door. Then took out dozens of guns and gave them to the female prisoners. The guards were preparing to counterattack, the female prisoners rushed out with their bazookas. The guards were afraid to drop their weapons one by one. As a result, the female prisoner held the bazooka upside down. Shot one shot, causing the car behind to explode. After that mistake, the female prisoner threw a grenade at the warden. Under the uprising of female prisoners, the guards were pushed back. They find they can't hide their scandals anymore. The ambassador rushed back to the office to destroy evidence. Who would have thought that before he lit the fire, he was stopped by Sybil. Unfortunately, Sybil never learned how to shoot, so was distracted by the ambassador's words and was hit by him. The ambassador proudly walked over and prepared to fire another shot. A backman rushed in and knocked him to the ground. As for the warden, she faced this critical situation without panic. On the contrary, she calmly hid in front of the door and waited for Carol to come out. She grabbed Carol from behind, asking the female prisoners to release her. Just now a female prisoner appeared in the background. Seeing the warden, new and old hatred all rushed into her mind. She fired a shot to send the chief to God. At this moment, the hellish prison created by a demon warden has completely collapsed. Carol, Sybil and Backman live a happy life together.